Scene Script Have you ever wondered about a celestial object that defies categorization? Meet Elst Pizarro, the mystery that sits between being an asteroid and a comet. In the vast cosmos, asteroids and comets are usually easy to distinguish. Asteroids, solid lumps of rock and metal are often found in the inner solar system, particularly in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Comets, however, are icy bodies that originate from the outskirts of the solar system, creating spectacular tails as they approach the sun. Yet, Elst Pizarro doesn't quite fit into these neat categories. When it was first discovered back in 1979, it was nestled in the asteroid belt, leading astronomers to classify it as an asteroid. But in a surprising twist, a closer look in 1996 revealed a tail, a characteristic commonly associated with comets. The tail, however, didn't quite match the typical comet tails we know. Astronomers initially thought it could be debris from a collision, but over time, the tail's brightness and structure changed, suggesting an ongoing process rather than a one-off event. Even more intriguing was Els Pizarro's rapid rotation, completing a full spin in just three and a half hours, another signature trait of a comet. One theory is that a collision might have exposed some subsurface ice on Els Pizarro, which is now gradually being lost to space. If this is true, then Els Pizarro is essentially an asteroid in a comet's clothing, at least until all of its exposed ice is shed and it reverts back to a standard asteroid. Yet this theory is far from universally accepted. Astronomers continue to debate, their arguments echoing through the halls of academia. But there's hope that these debates might soon be settled. Space scientists are gearing up for the proposed 2028 Castalia spacecraft mission, designed to take a closer look at this perplexing celestial body. While the debate rages on, some hope that the proposed 2028 Castalia spacecraft mission might finally settle the mystery of Els Pizarro. Imagine a star whose brightness dips by an astonishing 22%. This is not the plot of a sci-fi novel, but the reality of Tabby's star. This star, nearly 1,500 light-years from Earth in the constellation Cygnus, was named after astronomer Tabitha Boyajian, who led a study in 2015, revealing the star's peculiar light patterns. It was observed that Tabby's star, unlike any other, occasionally drops in brightness rapidly, and its overall brightness also seems to fade slowly over several decades. The short-term variation was first detected by the Kepler Space Telescope, designed to discover alien planets by studying the light of distant stars. The telescope looks for dips in starlight as a planet passes in front of them. However, the dimming of Tabby's star is anything but typical. Normally, the dimming caused by planets is evenly spaced, occurring each time the alien world completes an orbit, and is also relatively small, usually under 1%. So what could possibly be causing this mysterious star to dim so dramatically? Theories have been proposed, some more outlandish than others. One hypothesis suggests that a swarm of comets could be diving into the inner regions of the star's solar system, creating vast amounts of dust in the process. However, this seemingly logical explanation has sparked more fantastical ideas. Some have proposed that advanced alien civilizations might have built megastructures to harvest the star's energy. If this technology was unevenly distributed around the star, it would cause sporadic dips as it orbited, and it would also block more light over time as the project expanded. Yet the true source of all that dust still remains a mystery. The long-term variations of Tabby's star's light can be traced back to at least the 1890s. Dust shouldn't persist over such time scales, so it appears that some process is continuously replenishing the dust as it's transported away by the outward pressure of the star's light. The puzzle of Tabby's star's dimming remains unsolved. The dust causing the dimming should not persist for over a century, suggesting an unknown process is at work. The universe, it seems, still has many secrets to reveal. From a body that defies classification to a star with an unexplained dimming pattern, the universe certainly keeps us guessing. We've delved into the enigma of Elst Pizarro, an object that challenges our understanding of asteroids and comets. Its chameleon-like behavior, switching between asteroid and comet characteristics, continues to baffle astronomers. The ongoing debate and research efforts are a testament to our unending quest for knowledge. We also explored the mystery of Tabby's star and its peculiar dimming pattern, Theories range from a swarm of comets to advanced alien megastructures, but the true answer remains elusive. The scientific community continues to probe these peculiarities, each discovery bringing us one step closer to unraveling these cosmic conundrums. 
As we continue to explore the vastness of space, who knows what other mysteries we will uncover. After all, the universe is full of surprises. Until next time, keep looking up and stay Imagine curious. Imagine a burst of energy so powerful that it outshines the sun in a fraction of a second. Welcome to the perplexing world of fast radio bursts, or FRBs for short. First picked up by our radio telescopes in 2007, these rapid chirps of radio waves, often lasting mere milliseconds, have left astronomers scratching their heads in wonder and curiosity. FRBs appear to be coming from outside our home galaxy, the Milky Way, often from distances spanning hundreds of millions of light years away. To be seen from such a staggering distance, these bursts must release as much energy in a fraction of a second as our sun does in 80 years. Quite a spectacle, isn't it? Now, theories about their origins range from colliding black holes to, dare we say it, signals from extraterrestrial civilizations. But one burst known as FRB 121102 stands out from the rest. Emanating from a small galaxy 3 billion light years away, this particular FRB was seen to repeat. And not just once or twice. On a single day in August 2017, it repeated a mind-boggling 93 times. This repeated pattern rules out a single event as its cause, suggesting that whatever is triggering the burst must be ongoing. Could it be rapidly rotating neutron stars or perhaps material continuously falling into black holes? Of course, FRB 121102 could be a red herring. There could be two separate causes for repeating and non-repeating FRBs. In October 2018, a new haul of 19 non-repeating FRBs was announced, including the closest and the brightest detected to date. Studying their properties should help us pin down their home galaxies, and ultimately, we hope, the cataclysmic process is causing them. As we delve deeper into these cosmic puzzles, who knows what astonishing truths we might uncover about our vast universe. In a universe filled with galaxies of all shapes and sizes, Hoag's object stands out for its peculiar structure, a yellow core, an outer ring of young blue stars, and an empty middle a cosmic mystery that has left astronomers scratching their heads. Hoag's object was discovered in 1950 by American astronomer Arthur Hoag. Named in his honor, this celestial oddity defies our conventional understanding of galaxies. Unlike our flat spiral Milky Way or the rugby ball-shaped ellipticals, Hoag's object appears to be in a league of its own. It sports an older yellow core, surrounded by a vibrant ring of young blue stars. Yet oddly enough, there's nothing in the middle. It's as if some cosmic broom has swept away the spirals, leaving behind an enigmatic structure that has baffled astronomers for decades. One theory proposed to explain this unusual structure is that a smaller galaxy, two to three billion years ago, sped through a larger disk-shaped galaxy, creating this peculiar formation. Yet, this theory has its shortcomings. For starters, there's no sign of any galaxies nearby that could have served as the bullet. Additionally, such a collision would have caused the core of Hoag's object to spin faster. However, observations show the opposite. The core spins slowly, contradicting the expected aftermath of such a violent event. To add another layer to this cosmic mystery, if you look closely, there's a smaller version of the galaxy hidden within itself. A mini Hoag's object nestled within the larger one like a cosmic Russian doll. This further complicates our understanding of this celestial oddity and leaves us with more questions than answers. As we continue to explore the cosmos, Hoag's object serves as a constant reminder of the mysteries that lie beyond our current understanding. It's a celestial enigma, a testament to the endless mysteries that our universe holds. With every discovery, we get one step closer to unraveling the secrets of the cosmos. But for now, Hoag's object remains a captivating mystery, waiting to be solved. Imagine a Bermuda Triangle in space, a region that disrupts technology and creates cosmic flashes in the eyes of astronauts. Welcome to the South Atlantic Anomaly. This peculiar region of Earth's magnetic field has left many scratching their heads in wonder and concern. The South Atlantic Anomaly, you see, is intimately connected with something called the Van Allen Radiation Belts. These are two rings of charged particles trapped by our planet's magnetic field. In a perfect world, these belts would be aligned with Earth's rotation axis, but in reality they're tilted, creating a unique and somewhat unnerving phenomenon. Over the South Atlantic, about 125 miles above the Earth's surface, these radiation belts come startlingly close to us. This is the South Atlantic Anomaly, a Bermuda Triangle of space. 
where our familiar laws of physics seem to bend and twist in unusual ways. The International Space Station, the outpost of humanity in the void of space, regularly passes through this region. And it's here that things get really strange. Computers and other sensitive equipment on board the station can malfunction, creating real headaches for the astronauts and ground control. But perhaps the most unsettling effect is experienced personally by the astronauts themselves. As they pass through the South Atlantic anomaly, they report seeing cosmic flashes, even with their eyes closed. These are likely due to the higher levels of radiation in this region stimulating their retinas. So, as we ponder the mysteries of the universe, let's not forget the enigmas that exist right here in the space around our own planet. The South Atlantic Anomaly, our very own Bermuda Triangle in space, reminds us of the unpredictability and the awe-inspiring nature of our universe. From powerful radio bursts to uniquely structured galaxies and perplexing space anomalies, the universe is teeming with mysteries that continue to defy our understanding. Our journey today took us through the enigma of FRB 121102, a mysterious radio burst that repeats with a frequency that leaves scientists puzzled. We also explored the unusual characteristics of Hoag's object, a galaxy that defies the common structures we've grown accustomed to, evoking questions about its formation. Lastly, we delved into the Bermuda Triangle of Space, the South Atlantic Anomaly, a region of intense radiation that affects both technology and human perception. Each of these celestial curiosities represents a piece of the cosmic puzzle that scientists are working tirelessly to solve. As they unravel these mysteries, they're not just expanding our knowledge, they're challenging our understanding of the universe and its myriad of wonders. As we continue to explore the vast cosmos, each discovery brings us one step closer to understanding the intricate tapestry of our universe.